Hello friends, I'm Colonel Failure. This is Mercury Fallen, as is so very obvious by the big words written on the screen at the moment. Uh, it is an early access title, and therefore there is work still ongoing, and there definitely is work still ongoing. Um, but this was recommended to me by someone who shall remain nameless because I've forgotten their name on Twitter. Uh, said, yo, you should have a look at this. So I did. And then 12 hours later I went, yeah, I should probably record this. Because uh, I like it. I like it a lot. What is it? Well, it's another Dwarf Fortress, but not Dwarf Fortress. So it's RimWorld, but not RimWorld. It's uh, whatever that, that medieval survival civ civilization, med that one. Yeah, it's, it's one of them. Yeah, 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 here we go. Uh, right, so the map seed, uh, we will go with uh, uh, me. Yeah, yeah, I'll use my name because uh, I'm not in the slightest bit vain. Uh, we'll go with a big chunky old map. Yep, thank you. Uh, we'll go with the start with three colonists and one robot. Oh yeah, three colonists and one robot. Hit generate. I think we probably did already generate. Uh, oh, interesting how there's a massive spoiler to start with. And you've started me out down here. Flip. This is a massive spoiler. It gives you the map. Oh, blimey. Anyway, carry on. Yeah, just, just crack on with it. By the turn of the 22nd century, space exploration was dominated by corporate interests. Once a task for governments, space travel became a competitive market where companies pushed boldly and blindly into the black, intent only on a return on investment. For the first time in human history, Infinity Core was about to attempt the colonization of a planet outside of Earth's solar system. The construction vessel, Mercury, was launched to start the automated construction of an underground facility on an alien planet. A small research team was also sent to survey the planet before a colony ship full of settlers left Earth. The research team would awake from stasis automatically shortly after their arrival, or at least that was the plan. Oh, that's a comma, not a full stop. I got the emphasis wrong there. Oh, well, whatevs. Uh, right, here we go. Yeah, business. Story, 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 story. Colonists awaking from survival pods. Computer stuff. Lovely. And missions. Okay, cool. We're into it. Uh, right, okay. Now. Let's uh, let's let's wake people up first off. Uh, we'll open capsule number one, please. Okay, yeah. This is Lillian. I'm gonna pause the game up. No, I'm not. That's no. Too many games use too many different buttons. Hold on. Uh, pause the game. There. You are. Uh, right. Your original name was Lillian Jackson. That is not going to do in the slightest. You are Beretta Triffids. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Beretta's seen some action before, but she's here to see some action again. She has but one job at the moment, and that is being a janitor. Yeah, that's rubbish. Uh, she's not going to be thrilled about that, I can tell you. Uh, next up, behind door number two, please. Uh, let's unpause. I'm pretty sure... There you go, that is unpause. Yeah, yeah, I thought it was. Uh, one, and pause. Dana Schultz. Well, the artist formerly known as Dana Schultz uh, is actually going to be... Uh, Viv, yeah, Ian, yeah, uh, Crumbell. Uh, Vivian Crumbell, fresh from pitching, is out here to, uh, to help us. Her primary job at the moment is engineer. Oh, she must feel so thrilled with herself. Uh, that's good news, that's good times, it's good, uh, good adventures to be had there as well. And then, because we get three pods to start with, uh, we'll go for, uh, what's behind door number three, please. And it's, uh, Robin Adamey. No, no, it isn't, uh, Robin. Who are, who are you going to be? And it is, of course, Jenny J. Sonar. Marvellous. Right, okay, that's the team. Now, next up, I've got to give them all jobs, uh, which is fine. Uh, what's the objective? Build a colony, survive a bit, explore stuff, ex uh, figure out the unknown, all of that kind of business. Uh, it's really tremendous stuff. Um, so, let's go have a quick look at the team and... Uh, they, you can assign three jobs to the team, okay? Each each person can have three jobs, and that, they're listed in order of priority. Now, we'll need all jobs to be catered for in due course, uh, but in the first instance, I'm going to try and, uh, and try and put people on the jobs that make the most sense. So, for example, Beretta, uh, she's 
moderately smart. She's uh, moderately carryable and uh, very, very slow. So she's only got two uh, athletics. Right? So, uh, therefore, we want her to be our home body, effectively. Um, janitorizing, I'm just not I'm just not into that at the moment. We're going to make you a botanist first and foremost. We're going to make you a cook secondarily and a scientist uh, thirdarily. Okay? None of these things you are currently able to do. So, I'm going to switch that out for mining for the starting period that we are undertaking here. Next up, Viv. Pretty nippy. In fact, both Viv and Jenny are pretty much similar. So uh, I'm going to give them pretty much similar jobs. Uh, Viv, you can go. Uh, let's change you out for technician uh, and then builder and then miner. All right? And you can do the same thing, but the other way around. Uh, and then builder. Right. That should be enough to get us started because uh, getting started is what we're about. So we're going to want the resources needed to uh, to get ourselves resources supplies supplies our starting supply chest has been left near the stasis capsules has it yes here look all right open it up all right let's uh, let's get the game rolling and then we'll do just that in here all manner of bits and pieces which is fine and fabulous uh, but we're going to need some con some con mats Con mats is what we need to start with. So let's destroy all these walls, which are left over from the colony built by robots. Uh, yeah. All right. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. De destruct pods as well, because we'll have all of those resources, and that will help us get rolling swiftly. Uh, there's possibly too many jobs going on there, but they're, they're getting through them at a, a fair rate. Uh, meanwhile, down here, uh, Beretta, let's get you digging. And uh, you can start digging out this azurite, which will be turned into copper. The other thing that we're going to need is iron, but there isn't any floating around at the moment. It will turn up as we explore more. Uh, there is fog of war, but left to their own devices, your citizens will just go off and, uh, and figure that out for themselves. Let's get some beds down. Uh, sleeping mat one, two, three. There we are. And uh, resources. Uh, let's get ourselves a couple of crop fields out here. A couple of crop fields out here. And we'll leave a space between those crop fields so that when they become polluted, as they surely will, uh, we don't uh, we don't run into too much trouble. All right, good. Okay, up the tempo. Now, I know some of you are going to say, whoa, 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 with the upping the tempo. Don't be upping the tempo too much. You know, it lands you in trouble. No, this is a game where you are going to want to up the tempo. There is a lot of downtime in this game, uh, waiting for, for resources to be done. And having had one playthrough so far, which I didn't finish, um, I've learned an awful lot about things you don't need early on. Because um, I built everything early on, and you don't need it. No, it's, that's, a, that's a bad idea. And here comes our first crop field. All right, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Right, go. You make... Potato, please. There you go. Right, so that's that dealt with. Still not getting the maximum amount of work out of uh, out of Beretta, but yeah, that's, uh, that's going to be okay. Oh, that's handy. But the tech to unlock your, your your thermal vent energy pods is quite a long way down the down the road. Right. Anyway, wait for it. There you go. And on you. I'm also going to grow potato to start with. Let's make sure we've got enough food. And, and actually, having enough food is not that difficult. All right, what have we got here? Stone? Yes, want that, please. Uh, yeah, I'll have those three. Still need an iron seam, but we'll we'll get there. Not to worry. Uh, let's demolish this. We'll build our own super lovely walls in, in due course. Um, now, when I, when I did play through it myself, uh, just, you know, to learn the game... Uh, I ran out of copper so badly that uh, just so so little copper could I find. Oh, there's iron. Uh, that uh, that it was painful. I spent about probably four hours going. I've got to figure out a way of getting some flaming copper up in this business. Um, but I got copper up in the business eventually, and it was all good. Right, I'm going to use this area here, I think, as my as my starting zone, and I've got a feeling. Now this is how you can also uh, you can 
you could foist the, uh, the the rules imposed on you by the fog of war because it won't let you dig where you can't dig. So that is the very bottom of the map. In which case, that's where I'm going to stick my power generation. Uh, right. You've got to build a floor for it first, Tiger. Oh, yeah. Uh, that's utility floor? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. Okay. All right. Yeah, okay. So give me, give me utility floor, please. We'll have uh, six initially. I'll build a little bit more in the fullness of time. All right, team. Get rolling. And then we need a science lab, and then we'll start researching science things, uh, and that will uh, that will lead us to greater prosperity. It's all good. And then you need a refinery room. Yeah, but I'm going to have to learn the ref. Uh, do I know refinery already? No, I don't. You sure? Yeah, I'm I'm certain of it. I've got to learn refining. Okay, all right, that's all good. Yeah, we've got sleeping mats down. This is a good start. Uh, we've got raw potatoes that people will be able to eat as soon as they've uh, they've sprouted. Uh, and we've got a bit of uh, you know, a bit of azurite and some hematite. That's the stuff that has iron in it. Uh, we've got some of that ready to rock and roll already. All right, good. You're done with that. Now let's give me a power generator, please. Now these power gen. I'm not entirely sure of the science behind these power generators, but what I will tell you for nothing is that an engineer has to go to them, poke them a bit, and then they work. And then they gradually stop working over time, at which point you go and poke them a bit more. And that's how they work. Yep. Yep. That's a fact, bub. Um, it's all good. And what, I, what I'm going to make a push for very fast is, uh, is batteries. I'm going to go for bedrooms and batteries early on. Bedrooms will stop my people being quite so flaming miserable. Uh, my doctor... In, the, in this illustrious playthrough I reference so regularly, uh, my doctor would routinely get frustrated and he'd just come and hit the power generator with a spanner or something. Not to make it work, just because he hated everything about living in this hole. He went, well, okay, doc. I mean, but I mean, it, that is kind of counterproductive what you're doing there. He didn't care. No, he didn't care at all. Uh, right, let's get, let's get some walls up in this business as well. Yeah, that'll be good. Uh... I say everybody else has gone to sleep. And have you left the job half done? No, job's done. Mechanical generator. Yes, bub. Right, now, from the mechanical generator, I will then want to leave enough space before getting to my research lab, because my aim is going to be to not have to replace stuff later. Tricky. Yes. But ultimately, worthwhile. You know what? I'll put the research lab out here. But you've got hallway floors there. That's no good to you. All right, then. In that case, what jobs have we got queued up for the morning? Build these walls. Yeah. Uh, we could take these walls out and see what's behind them. Or we could... Uh, actually, we could build up here. All right, fine. Let's put a big mining job in here, then. Uh, let's knock that out. Yeah. Sat on the floor. It's more stone. Fine. Now, this, uh, this stone that's in the floor, you can't mine that. No. Not until you've got a special magical mining robot. And that's really quite a long way down the tech tree. Really quite a long way down the tech tree. And it's very frustrating to be walking over the stuff that will give you copper. And yet be unable to access the stuff that gives you copper. The other thing I should do, this little dude here, it's a robot. It's inactive. It will work for me as soon as I power generate it. Do you want to put a power generator up for it then? Yeah, okay, I will do. Yeah. See, that's... This is the kind of thinking that allows you to something. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll stick it in there next to generator one. Here you go. Go on, get in. Thank you. Right. Now, someone, one of you people should be hightailing it over here now to make me a robot power generator. Well, it's a robot recharging station. Yeah, once we've got that, old Flippy here should, uh, should get back in business. Should. Will they though? There's a bit more. Uh, there's a bit more as you right. I seem to be swimming in that stuff. You know what? I'll push this out a little bit further. Uh, yeah. Now the other thing that will put you in good stead in this game is if you know the optimum technique for finding diamonds in Minecraft. If you know the optimum technique for doing so, it will save you a lot of hassle. So I'm going to show it to you in in due course. Not in this episode. Probably next episode. Um, no, the optimum technique for finding stuff. 
It's laborious and it's pretty obvious, but it's still optimum. Right, who's, who's leveled up? Viv is now a level two builder. Well done, Viv, good job. Yeah, what I'm looking for though is level two miners. Got to get them up, got to get them mining up. Yeah. Now, uh, as with all games of this kind, you can set their, their work play schedule. At the moment, they're all scheduled for two hours of training uh, midway through the day. Uh, but I don't have a training room, so that's cancelled. Yeah. Yeah, otherwise they're just going to stand around aimlessly going... So, uh, so we'd, we'd quite like to avoid that. Now, I need to get set up a research a science lab floor. Now, try and build this somewhat in line, because it will it will save you some hassle later on. Let's do that and that to start with, and then we'll make it a little bit bigger later on. Doesn't need to be this size, but I have a I have a feeling that there is optimization to be had in uh, in making larger rooms. You haven't got any power. You should have power though. Oh, okay, fine. You're right next to the ruddy power generator. There, I'll try that on for size. And then while we're about it, given that I haven't got other building jobs to go right now, let's get the power conduit up to where I'm going to need it. There you go. You've, get, you've got power and you've got water to contend with. Uh, what's this? Uh, Jenny's now a level 2 miner. Super. Super. This is, uh, this is what we like to see. It's all good. Right, there's my science room starting point, uh, at which point we will stick in the science desk. You might go, oh, will you benefit from having more than one science desk? And you go, no, not really. You're fine, you're fine just having one. I think we'll stick it there, because I'm thinking about the extensions that I'm going to put onto this. Yeah, you've not thought this through. I flipping have. Put it here, here. That's where you want to put it. You think? Yes. Okay. And then we'll actually wall this one in uh, thoroughly, uh, and that way we're uh, we're good to go. Do you want to? Yeah, no, no. I'll complete the walling in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's good. It's good. All right. Instigate a little bit more diggage back there, and that's all fine. Now, all of these walls that I'm recycling at the moment, the materials from those are enabling me to uh, to build up my uh, my walls and so forth to start with, and that's that's pretty helpful. Right, you've still got no power. Okay, what's going on here? Well, that's out of juice. That would explain quite a bit then. Hit it with your spanner. There you go, being charged up by the technician. There we go. And now we're putting in the electrical cables, which means that's charged. Which means that I can probably just click on Blinky and go, Come on, Blinky. Right. Now, what, what's Blinky into, you ask yourselves? I go, well, I'm glad you asked. So uh, Blinky can do a little bit of uh, technicianing. Uh, in fact, he's called Worker Zo. What? No, 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 no. He's not. He's called. Uh, he's called Flipping Blinky. I said it enough times. Um, and uh, a bit of building, and a bit of mining. <laughs> it's all. It's all jolly good. Uh, my cup runneth over for these things at the moment, and that means I just need going to need to make sure I've got enough jobs going on to keep them all uh, gainfully employed. There you go. Do a bit of that, please. We'll have those resources. Prontissimo. And then slap in some walls here. Slap in some... Where, no, I want them where I want them, please. Thank you. All right. There's a good reason why I'm building walls around that. And uh, I'm not going to spoil it for you by telling you. You're just going to have to wait until it happens. And then you'll know. And you'll go, oh, okay, no, I see that. Well, yeah, it was a good reason. I go, yeah, it is a good reason. So, much like all games of this kind... You start out by just trying to provide yourself some shelter and whatnot, and uh, and a bit of light. We haven't got any light yet. This is all ambient, you see. This cave is all just being lit by it's cave stuff. Oh, I see Blinky's getting to build the research desk. Oh, lucky Blinky. Yeah. Okay, did I build my power line all the way out there? I don't think I did. Nope. There you go. Give it some of that. And also to get the uh, get the environmentals uh, up a smidge. No, no, I'll wait. I'm not going to place that. No. No, my first piece of research will give me wall lights, which are much more aesthetically pleasing. Uh, now, because we're going to have people coming in and out of here on a regular basis, I'll even build a little bit of a uh, little bit of cheeky hallway there. There we are. You get movement, movement speed benefit on a hallway rather than a, a flat floor. 
Yeah, I know, it's, uh, it's fairly inevitable. Now, the stuff that isn't useful, so this dirt, when you mine that, it just disappears. And that's a good thing. You don't want that, you don't want that kicking around, ruining your day. No, 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 you definitely don't. We ought to go find a bit more uh, hematite, though, otherwise we're going to be, you know, pretty sad. I rather think we are. Okay, are you juiced up? Uh, yes. Open the research screen. Right, tech tree time there, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, now, you've got your technology, you've got decoration stuff for... Well, these are more add-ons, right, to the uh, to the technology as you open it up. You'll see. Uh, then you've got recipes, which is more of the same, and then you've got crop types, which you have to go and do some flipping Xeno by whatever not uh, in order to make that happen. So first off, material crafting, please. That is going to require 25 of the old tech points. And uh, Beretta's now a level 2 miner. Yeah, I know. Right, so uh, let's uh, let's make it happen. You're, you're all powered up. All we need to do is go get... Who's going to... Uh, Beretta was going to be our, uh, our researcher. So uh, get to flipping work, Beretta. Right, and then she'll come over here from whatever it is she's doing. When she's finished doing whatever she's doing at the moment, sleeping. Okay, and it looks like these crops are about ready to harvest as well. They are. Okay, so she's going to do some sleeping. She's going to do some crop harvesting. Uh, she doesn't have the ability to do any cooking yet because I haven't built the cooking behaviour. Uh, so then she'll do a bit of that. And then, Lord willing, she'll go and do some work at the research lab. There we go, everyone's up. Now, I could put everybody on a separate schedule, which obviously there's going to be some efficiencies in there. Um... Uh, because that means that you know you can have multiple people working one kind of piece of apparatus or similar, and and the sleep schedules will will dictate when they're using it. Uh, but uh, <clears throat> I'm not too not too fast, not right now. We're out of juice. Well, who's uh, who's Captain Spanners at the moment? Shouldn't be out of juice. What have I done that's made it out of juice? Nothing. No, it was just being it was just being recharged. Okay, fine. Yeah, that's good. No, look, I, I want to get the refinery room up as the uh, as the cliffhanger to this first episode, you see. Yeah, there we go. Research is ongoing. Now, as they do any action, as you've probably observed already, they start to get, you know, better at stuff. This three that I've got lit up there is telling me stuff that I've learned about things. And that is, I've learned a little bit about hematite, something about azurite, and a little bit about sand. Sand, I imagine, we will have learned it gets everywhere. Blinky's now a level 2 miner. Ah, good on you, Blinkers. Well done. Ooh, speaking of hematite, there's some now. Right. Is it hematite? Hematite. No, hematite, definitely. Yeah. Right, how are we doing on the old research points? 19. I think the desk itself can store 150. So, uh, that's, that's plenty, and we will go... Oh, no, we're out of juice. Oh, yeah. No, it's okay. It's all right. It's okay. It's okay. All right, this next stuff we've got going on over there. That's more hematite. No, nope. the next uh, anthracite is coal. Yeah. We won't need that for ages. But uh, but it's certainly lovely to have it. That's uh, absolutely lovely to have it. Yeah, I love having it, and it's lovely to have. Uh, right, we now need to get a second power plant up. Yeah, yeah. One power plant is definitely not going to cut it. Uh, we're going to need two before no time at all. Possibly even three. But if I can... I want to try and get to battery tech fairly quickly. But I've uh, uh, I've a sinking feeling that that's actually miles down the tech tree. I'll have a look when we open it up in a sec. Because uh, I've already got enough to make research number one come to fruition. All right, let's keep this rolling. How big are you going to make it? You know what? I'm going to give it so much space that it will be more power than I know what to do with. Oh, I know what to do with power. What? Be corrupted by it. Okay, then. Uh, right, slap this in here. In fact, I think you've built that in the wrong place. Well, I'll worry about that later. I'm not going to worry about it now. I'll leave it, leave it alone. It's all fine. All right. Yeah, gather that lot as well, please. There we go. And then give it some of this. There we go. And that should be all we need to do there. Right, I've got 64 bits of research pointery going on. 
uh, let's go poke that with uh, you know the business end of an operational. Uh, we can unlock spangly lighting, which uses electricity. We can unlock a nightstand, which is lovely for, for helping to improve people's mood, uh, and a bookcase, or a plant pot. None of these things are, of course, essential. Uh, instead, we will have material crafting, please. Right. Then, do we go ore processing? Yes, we do. And then, straight to power storage. Yep. Bedrooms, though. Uh, yeah, I mean, you say it now. It will keep people happy. It will. But this will give us the resources we need to do stuff. All right, do that then. Yeah. Yeah, we'll do that next. And that's going to take 74. We've got 44 in the bank. That's going to take uh, no time at all. I mean, Colonel Failure, this is episode one. There will be further episodes. Put that, get that dug, would you? Uh, Beretta Triff is now a level two scientist. Oh, good for her. Oh, she's worked so hard. She's, she's studied for a very long time and her parents are now thrilled. Uh, yeah, uh, do tune in for the next one because it will be almost as riveting as this one. Maybe even more so, but it really depends what happens. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Cheerio.